Welcome. Welcome to Keep Cooking Daily. Hello, lovely people. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, and today we're making the recipe that you voted for. Um, it is our egg and mango chutney flatbreads. There's two key skills that we want to go through today. One, of course, is how to cook the perfect poached eggs, whether, I'm sorry, boiled eggs, whether they're soft, medium, or hard. And second is how to make these flatbreads, which is a great life skill. It's a great thing to have under, under your belt for any day of the week or for whatever you're cooking. Um, but look, that's what we're going to do today. Thank you for joining me on this fine Wednesday. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Jack. Um, I'm the head chef of Jamie's Cookery School. And look, we're spending a bit more time at home at the moment. So Jamie's asked me to bring what we do at the cookery school to you every day with these daily cook-ups. Um, so we're here to give you a bit of inspiration in the kitchen, give you some tips and tricks. And if there's anything that you'd like to see, get involved, be part of the conversation, get involved in the comments below. We've got um, people manning the chats and we'll be responding to you. Let us know what you think of this recipe, if you'll be trying it and let us know um, if there's things that you'd like to see next week, perhaps. Um, we're, we are all ears. Um, look, let's do this. Egg and mango chutney flatbreads. This is from the Five Ways book. So there's five ingredients which make things easy for you, makes things easy for me as well. Um, let's start with our flatbread. I'm going to make the dough. I'm going to roll it out with my rolling pin. Do I have a rolling pin, Hugo? It's just underneath. It's just underneath. Fantastic. Um, and then um, I'm going to start cooking our eggs. Um, so if you haven't made flatbreads before, they are superbly easy. Um, you can make them in so many different styles. Today we're using 100 grams of self-raising flour as well as four tablespoons of yogurt. Whilst I actually get my yogurt into my bowl, Kyle, hello Kyle. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you seem surprised to be talked to. Um, Kyle is our producer today, ladies and gentlemen. How are you Kyle, all right? I'm very good, thank you. You've um, got is there anything you want to, sorry Kyle, is there anything you want to say right now? Yeah, just if anyone wants the recipe uh, written down, we've got it in the comments. But uh, hello to everyone who's joining us. We've got people in Brooklyn, New York, Australia, Uzbekistan, Malaysia, Spain, Singapore, and Ipswich, Ipswich Australia as well, we've had. Look at that. Yeah. I love it. Um, guys, thank you for joining from all over the world. It means so much to us um, uh, that you're, uh, you're joining in from wherever you are. Um, I um, uh, run Jamie's Cookery School, where we are doing all online lessons at the moment, um, about 20 to 30 every single week. And we have chefs joining from all over the world. By chefs, I mean guests like yourself from all over the world. And we all cook along together at the same time for each of our two hour lessons. It's amazing fun. Um, anyway, let's get back to these flatbreads. Two ingredients, 100 grams of self-raising flour and um, four tablespoons or so of yogurt. Yogurt gives us a nice bit of creaminess, um, a bit of volume, a bit of nice texture. Um, but there's so many different styles of flatbreads that you can make at home. Um, so look, let's start, for example, with um, uh, you can make chapati breads, really simple. All you need is like a bit of wholemeal flour or white flour and some, uh, and some water. Um, the other night, literally on Tuesday night, um, so last night, I made um, uh, tortillas, really simple tortillas. Essentially, it's, it's um, flour with uh, a bit of water and a bit of um, oil. Um, Hugo, you're a big fan of flatbreads, aren't you? Yeah, I think that's a great, you know, if you haven't got uh, some bread or some, you know, toast, if you're cooking this up for something for brunch, this is something you can make with things that you have already, some yogurt and some flour. It's just really quick. I couldn't agree more. What I like about it is as long as you've got some flour in your cupboard, whether it's self-raising, white flour, wholemeal flour, it means you've always got bread. And I'll show you, we're making all of this recipe live. It's not going to take long at all to turn this into a, a lovely flatbread. Yeah. Wonderful. For We've the, got for some questions. Uh, how much yogurt was it? Sorry. Four tablespoons. Four tablespoons of yogurt. Um, and as Carla said, the recipe is in the comments. Um, check that out for all those sort of details as well. So we've got people watching in South Books, in Dorset, in I just saw Devon, Poland, Leicestershire, Romania, Vienna, Bulgaria, all over the place, Jack. Everyone's loving it. Welcome, guys. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, look, I'm loving these daily cook-ups. Uh, I think there's nothing better to get into the kitchen, have a bit of fun, and most importantly, just talk and connect through food. There's so much to do, so much to say. Everyone has their own opinion. Everyone has their own different kind of um, favorite um, styles or types or flavors. Um, there's never a wrong or a right answer in the kitchen, and that's what I like about it. Okay, I have my bread. It's been kneaded um, for uh, about two or three minutes. As when you're kneading, you use a style that's right for you. Just make sure you're being nice and energetic with it. 
Um, I've kneaded it for a few minutes. I'm now going to start rolling it out into two flatbreads. So um, this serves two people today. Uh, there we go. Uh, and I really do encourage you to give it a try at home um, because they are so simple. If you've never made bread before, it's the perfect like entry to bread. Um, just remind us what we're doing. Yes, good question. We're making flatbreads, of course. But why the flatbreads there? They're there for these perfect poached eggs. Sorry, boiled eggs that we'll come on to in a moment. We're going to pimp them up with a bit of mango chutney, a bit of chili, a bit of yogurt. It's going to be delicious. OK, let me roll one of these out. And then we're going to start cooking. We'll have our eggs going whilst our, um, uh, whilst our uh, tortillas or our flatbreads are cooking. So they'll be cooking at the same time. And I'll give you all the info that you need to cook the perfect soft boiled egg. Would you believe it? And I think with soft boiled eggs, the simpler you go, it's kind of one of those times in the kitchens that I love, the simpler you go, and if you rely on, on your timer, the more reliable product you're going to get. Okie dokes, flatbread here, flatbread here, excellent stuff. Let's start talking. I'm going to clean down. I'm going to do all those sort of things. But first of all, I want to start talking about our eggs. I'm going to give my hands a little wash. Hugo, are you happy so far? Very happy. Yeah. They look great. Fantastic. All right. Soft boiled eggs. I know everyone wants the secrets to the perfect soft boiled eggs. But the good news is that it's all easy peasy and nice and simple. I can see, I think now's a perfect time. Maybe, maybe not. Now's a perfect time. Um, you may know him. It's called Jamie. Jamie, why don't you come on and say hi for Yay. me? Hi guys. Go on, you, you, you zip around. I'll zip around. I'll zip hi out everyone. the camera. Uh, there's your camera. Uh, I hope you're loving Jack's um, cookery sessions every day. Um, it's been brilliant. Thank you, Jack. Pleasure. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm writing today. I'm writing recipes. Um, I'm back in the office and we're doing some testing uh, and some shooting. So um, we're slowly getting back to normal at work. Um, I've been at home, probably like you guys, homeschooling the kids and all that sort of business um, for <laughs> way too long. Um, so I'm quite relieved to be back into work, but I just wanted to come in and say hi. Um, got my glasses on. Do you like my glasses? You probably haven't seen me in glasses before. But, um, yeah, my eyes are starting to get a little bit rubbish, so I can see everything now. It's amazing. Everything's really sharp. Um, so yeah, how's it all going? Good. Are we Lots got questions? Saying hello, Jamie. I'm uh, just I'm just looking at questions coming in, and even with my glasses, have we got people from Madeira? Wouldn't you like to be in Madeira right now? I mean, I think you know if you look at the weather outside. If you looked up here, we got a glass roof up here, so we do all of our TV um, uh, stills photography. Um, and it's grey and it's raining. Madeira sounds like a beautiful thing. I actually went on holiday there once when I was a child. It was absolutely lovely. South Africa, Gabrielle, I can see. Jamie Ricardo said hello as well to you. Loads of people saying hello to Jamie. It's good to have you joining us. And um, some people, somebody just asked if this recipe that we're doing, the mango yes. flatbread, uh, whether it can be done with a pita bread. Maybe you can answer that for us. Oh, it can totally be done with a pita bread, but when I was writing this recipe, um, I was really trying to come up with um, something beautiful, something fun, something quick that would solve that problem when you've run out of bread. Oh my God, I've got no bread. There's nothing and you've got the munchies. So this is great because it's a breakfast, it's a brunch, it's a lunch, or it's a snack or a midnight munchie. Uh, and of course, we're just sticking with like the eggs and the mango chutney that works wicked. But like you, you can play with that. You can have a few rashers of bacon in it. You can kind of mess around with it. You can kind of, when you make these little breads here, you can take little chilies or jalapenos and roll it into it and have almost like a stained glass little flatbread. So I just always think that people that are busy um, and people that are balancing life and friends and family and everything else that's going on, it's nice to have a recipe like this because it's this yogurt, flour, you know, uh, and, and you rattle out the quickest little flatbread. And of course, when you cook them quickly, when they come off, they're just so sumptuous and lovely and, and gorgeous. And you can use them for curries or stews. You can make them different shapes. So it's just a little bit of fun, really. Um, and when we did it on TV, um, people loved it. So I think it was kind of, you know, people like little hacks like that, which is, which is cool. Jamie, Judy said that she loves your glasses. Uh, loads of people <laughs> saying that it's great to see you. And other people commenting that Jack's doing a really good job as well. Jack, yeah, Jack, oh. Jack is like, he's, he's, uh, he's very, very good. He runs our cookery school. 
Um, and Jack has been very, very proactive throughout the whole of lockdown. Um, and we've been doing lots of community stuff, haven't we? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. With Ministry of Food. Um, so we've got um, a small but beautiful cookery team in the school. Uh, the cookery school has been so successful. Um, and we were literally just taking off last year before lockdown. Um, so we ha had the most amazing year and we've got the most amazing team. The customers were so happy. Uh, we do about 36 different courses, um, you know, from knife skills. Pe people, people literally walk in not being able to use a knife mm -hmm. uh, and they walk out being technically able. Um, and we've got loads of different um, classes that we offer. But then when lockdown happened, it's like, well, what, what do we do? So, you know, um, I think this is, this is kind of part of it. We've, um, the team has been doing some amazing cookery classes. But what's lovely is there's like 20 people in a class and one of the team is analyzing what's going on in their kitchen and they're all around the world. So it's actually been what you lose in physicality you gain and probably more in this incredible gritty realism of yeah. seeing like, it's all very well going into a school and learning a technique, but then how do you take it home and do it in your pan, in your kitchen, in your oven? So um, Jack's been amazing and the superstar and um, he's currently single. So let's get, <laughs> let's, let's, let's get the campaign going. Let's get Jack hooked up. Jamie, just um, one before you go. Don't change the said. subject. Um, we're we're going to focus on that. So audience, um, uh, yeah. One that you'll like. Leave Ruth some comments in the comments this. box below. I'm not. <laughs> right. Ruth said she's made this a couple of times. It's really delicious. But when she doesn't have mango chutney, she uses a homemade sweet chili jam. It sounds right Oof. up your street. Yeah, that wow. sounds amazing. So I, I think like that idea of spice and sweetness is really good. And I think also when you go around the world and you see street food around the world, eggs kind of served up in cool contemporary ways is amazing. And you don't have to boil it. You can fry it. You can poach it. Um, really nice. I'd love to try that. Send a jar in, I say. Um, there is one more person with me today um, that uh, is homeschooling with me because I've got a helping with a project. So I'm working, but I'm doing what you're probably doing, guys, which is juggling work and homeschooling. Come and say hi, buds. Uh, my little boy, Buddy, who you might know from, he's been doing cooking buddies. Come and say hi. He's got a very smart school uniform on. Hi. Give him a wave. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's doing good. So he's on a lunch break now. So I'm just going to go and serve him. Uh, and Jack, I'll see you later. See you very soon. So I'll let you come back into your world. You can anti-back. <laughs> I'll anti-back. Bye, guys. Lots of love. I hope you're all really, really well, uh, happy and healthy. And, um, and um, here's to this year being fantastic mm. once we get all this stuff sorted. But um, hopefully, like me, I hope you found some um, comfort and control and happiness in cooking. Mm. And it's just been so amazing that so many new people have come to cooking, possibly because they've had to, but there's so many new people loving cooking and seeing, and seeing the pleasure in it. So Jack, thank you. It's a pleasure. I, I hand you. the baton, lots of love guys. Take care. Thank you, Jamie. Is it hot? Just me, is it hot in here? A little glass of water. Um, all right, thank you, Jamie. Thank you, buddy. I'll see you very soon. I'll see you very soon. Hello, lovely people. Should we get back to our flatbreads, get back to our little eggs? Um, let's do it. For those of you just joining, a big hello. Welcome to Keep Cooking Daily. This is your daily inspiration for the kitchen. And today we're making the perfect, the perfect poached eggs with beautiful flatbreads as well. Let's talk about poached eggs. Sorry, I keep saying poached eggs. Boiled eggs, soft boiled eggs. Um, I'm going to drop my four boil my four eggs into my boiling water, and then we're gonna talk about it. Um, so, first of all, water is boiling, excellent. Second of all, little pinch of salt just in there. We can talk about why later on. And third, I'm gonna gently lower each egg. This is a large, free range, organic egg into the pot, just nice and slowly to get it accustomized to this slight temperature shock that it's going through, and of course, very gently when it's hitting the bottom. Oh, there you go. You can see nice and pretty. Super. So whilst these eggs cook, they're going to take five and a half minutes to be perfectly soft boiled. Whilst they're cooking, um, we're going to make our beautiful flatbreads. Um, we'll talk about eggs in more detail as well and the best ways to cook them, um, as well as a few other bits and bobs as well. So five and a half minutes. There's the timer. That's it. 
first tip with your, with your eggs is rely on the timer. I never time anything. I don't like to weigh anything. I, don't like to, I always like to use my eye in the kitchen. It's just how I like to cook personally. When it comes to eggs, your timer really is your best friend. It's gonna help you out a lot. Five and a half minutes is gonna give you the perfect soft boiled egg. Um, seven to eight minutes is gonna give you that kind of medium boiled egg. And about 10 to 11 minutes will give you a nice hard boiled egg. If you're using the timer, if you're going straight from boiling water, you're reducing all of the risk, all of the variables, all of the inconsistencies, and you'll be getting yourself a nice, reliable product each time. Hugo, you're a big egg fan. Are you happy with that? Very happy. Yeah, that sounds perfect to me. Fantastic. Now, just have a quick clean down, and then we're going to go straight to our flatbreads. My pan, just here, nice and big, is on a very high heat, as high as you can go. Um, you don't want your flatbreads to be cooking softly because um, they, um, they may dry out a little bit. So a nice high heat, get it nice and warm, and we're not going to add any oil. We're just going to go straight in and toast them. If you add oil, you're frying. When you're toasting, what you're doing is, um, of course, you're cooking the bread. But you're getting a lovely char on the, on the underneath. And that char gives us a nice kind of smokiness, um, a nice element of smokiness to the, um, to the dish, which is absolutely lovely. Um, and look, the flatbreads are going to take two, three, four minutes, um, depending on the heat of your pan. Um, and the eggs are going to take three minutes and 50 seconds. In the meantime, all I need to do is chop some chili um, and that's about it. Kyle, how are we doing on the chat? We're doing really well. Um, there's some questions coming in a lot about eggs. Eggs always wins the internet, so this is good <laughs> to hear. Uh, do the eggs come straight from the fridge or are they room temperature? That's a good question. And also, should they go straight into boiling water? Uh, was another question. Yeah, I mean, um, f straight from, I'd go straight from room temperature. Again, it makes, it reduces any inconsistencies or irregularities, and I keep my eggs outside of the fridge. Anyway, um, you can bring them from cold up to heat. It's a different technique, but in my opinion, you know, your kitchen, your hob, the size of your pot, how much water you've got in there, all different variables. Boiling water isn't, it's a consistent. So I think the best, most reliable product will be going in straight to boiling water and using your timer. Does that help you out, Kyle? Definitely does. Uh, can you just remind us who you are, Jack? Some people are asking. <laughs> I was thinking just that. Um, so I'm Jack, uh, I'm the head chef of Jamie's Cookery School. Um, as Jamie said just earlier, um, just before lockdown in March last year, um, we were um, kind of just taking off and created this lovely, marvelous school. Obviously, we went down to lockdown and we've made an online school, which I'm really proud of. I'll talk to you more in a bit more detail in a moment. But Carl, I can see you waving your arm. Yeah, so some people are asking about gluten-free options uh, for the flatbreads. Would this work with a gluten-free flour? Yeah, gluten-free flour often has quite a few different ingredients in it. It's best to use a recipe often on that packet. It can be a different technique. Um, so um, I, would, I would check the packet details for that. Um, or you can buy very, very, very good gluten-free flatbreads uh, as well. You can keep them in your freezer, and then they're just there for when you need them. Uh, any other questions, Carl, for now? There was also a similar one about wholemeal flour. Um, and lots of people, a few people are shocked about the eggs not being kept in the fridge. Um, look, um, you know, um, it's, it's up to you. I'm, I'm not that bothered. Obviously, in the supermarket, you'll keep them, um, they, they keep them in an outside of the fridge, but it is a regulated temperature in the supermarket. So it's up to you. If, you're, if, you're, if where you're keeping them is cool and dry and dark, that's good, or the fridge. Happy with that, Hugo? Very yes, happy. And fantastic. just to say, these flatbreads are a great trick to have up your sleeve if you're cooking a curry or something like that. If you either want it with rice and some pickly bits or without rice, you can make them, you know, with 10 minutes to go before your curry's done and they'll be hot. I, I completely agree. And I'm not just saying it. I did, I did just that last night with some tortillas. I had some lovely tortilla filling and I turned that, I made a lovely tortilla. Essentially, it was flour, uh, it was water instead of yogurt and then a bit of oil or butter or fat from somewhere to give it a bit of... Lovely. Kyle's got his hand up. I can see a few people uh, tagging people. It'd be great if, uh, if there's anyone you know that you think would enjoy this recipe or any of the other recipes that we're making daily live, then please do tag them, share this, let people please know do. what we're up to. Please do. We're here just to give you that bit of extra kind of kitchen inspiration each day. Every day I'll be cooking up something different and you can get involved. You can let us know, steer us into what you need, what you think you need inspiration with or support for.
just quickly, because we've got 30 seconds on the eggs. Yeah. Uh, Sue's just said that she thoroughly enjoyed the pasta masterclass at the cookery school last year. Fantastic. So that leads me on just quickly to a certain person that we love's birthday. Oh, I was waiting for that. Big boy Gennaro, it's Gennaro's birthday. And I'm sure everyone's been wishing him happy birthday all day. Um, uh, I'm sure, you know what, he hasn't had a recipe like this in a long term. I think it's perfect for him. Uh, Gennaro, lots of love, happy birthday. Um, Jamie had the most incredible underpants. Um, was it underpants or was it, it, was, it was underpants, wasn't it, for Gennaro the other day? Um, it's Gennaro's birthday. And with that, our timer. So, as soon as you hear your timer, it's time to take the eggs out of the water, um, or, or at least give them some cold water. So I'm gonna pour a bit of that boiling water just out. I'm gonna drop my pan into the bottom of my sink and start pouring in some cold water. The cold water is just gonna make things easier for you when you're peeling them, but also if you think about that shell right now, it's kind of acting like an oven. Um, it, uh, it's gonna be continuing to cook those eggs. So getting cold water involved straight away is gonna stop that cooking process sooner to give you that soft boiled egg, which is what we're looking for today. Now, what else do I have with me? I've got my flatbreads, beautiful, chili, chopped nicely. I've got a bit of mango chutney just here, but you could use sweet chili. You could use anything that you fancy. A bit of sriracha would be lovely. Um, and I've got a bit of extra yogurt as well. That is all I need to make this perfect breakfast. But as Jamie says, it could be a lunch, it could be a tea, it could be a dinner, it could be a supper. It could be a midnight munchy snack. Whatever you're doing, it's really, really quick. Jack, some people are asking about the salt in the water for the egg. Yes. Um, so that, the theory behind that is that there's a little bit of salt, excuse me, in the egg. And so by adding a bit of salt to this water, you're not having any osmosis, and which that hopefully reduces the risk of, um, uh, of any um, shell um, cracking. And as you can see, or maybe you can't see with mine, none of my shells have cracked. If you can't see, you have to take my word for it. <laughs> and look, I know we're giving you a nice close up, but I, if I'm honest with you just now, I'm not doing anything that sexy. I'm just peeling my, my eggs and then I'm gonna serve them up. This is like a 20 minute recipe. Uh, it honestly is. Uh, there's so few ingredients. It's coming from Jamie's Five Ways book. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some inspiration for the weekend, but perhaps, perhaps Sunday morning, this is perfect for, if that's, if that's when you wanna cook this for, I love it. And as Jamie said, Jack, if you wanted it even quicker, if you don't want to wait for those boiled eggs, cook your flatbreads straight away, fry a couple of eggs, wrap your, wrap your um, flatbreads in a tea towel, keep yeah. them warm. Absolutely. Uh, Hugo, would you make this like with anything like sourdough, for example, if that's what you had, you didn't want to make the bread? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, if, if, as Jamie said when he was on, this is a recipe to have up your sleeve when you've run out of bread, when there's nothing in the house, but yeah. Uh, a nice pit of bread, as someone suggested, or Ooh. a slice of sourdough, a toast, or... Um, a bit of white bloomer, anything really goes with these eggs. Jack, you're going to love this one. Rasheen's just said that you are doing some super sexy egg peeling. <laughs> and Paula thinks it's gorgeous. I was thinking that, and I'm so glad you, you said. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Honestly, we love your comments so much. Just because, yes, I, we want to learn something. We want to give you a bit of inspiration, but also it's just a bit of fun to kind of cook up in the kitchen, to chat together, to connect through the world. I love it. Thank you for being involved today. Give us your input. Give us your comments. And... If there's things that you want to see, let us know about it. Okay, flatbread on. Um, next up, just a little bit of yogurt, and then I'll add a little bit more later on just to kind of get, get things started. A little nice bed for our um, two eggs. A touch of chili here and there, and then I'll, I'll kind of use both of these for garnish later. And it's as simple as that. Now the moment of truth, how are we looking? I can tell this one's nice and soft. This one's nice and soft. Shall we see what happens? That looks good, Jack. Jack, Mandy said you peeled those eggs like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Mandy? That's the first thing I've done today, like a boss, or even this week, so thank you. <laughs> and also, you haven't got it wrong. Jack, Aldina's just said, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Can someone tell me how uh, you made the dough? So just to let anyone know who needs the recipe written, uh, you can go back and rewatch this, but the written recipe is in the comments and it'll be available on jamieoliver.com. It's also from Jamie's Five Ingredients book, so you can find it in there. And also I should say, we're getting everything, everything we need from this plate, right? So our lovely, sumptuous, 
glorious eggs, which are the heart of the story, our comforting bread. And then the mango chutney is given a sweet, is given a sour. The yogurt is given us a bit of um, extra creaminess and the chili is giving us heat. So this delivers kind of on every flavor profile that you're looking for. It's comforting, it's warming. It's kind of for a, for a breakfast or a brunch or a snack or a lunch or even a dinner, it's kind of got everything that you like. And there we have it. This is my wonderful homemade flatbreads and minutes with our perfectly poached eggs, perfectly soft, Boiled eggs <laughs> with yogurt, with mango chutney, and with chili. Give this nut, give this, give this one a go, guys. I'm sure you will love it. Thank yeah. you so much for getting involved today. Before I log off, before I love and leave you, Carl, is there anything that you want to say? Yeah, Lynette's just said perfect eggs, and I think you've convinced Tim because he said, "Wow, five and a half minutes." Then, um, if anyone's cooking along and, and making this at home, we'd love to see your pictures. So please share it using the hashtag Keep Cooking Daily. Thank you, Kyle. Hugo, are you happy? Very happy. Very happy. Always happy. Fantastic. Guys, I'm happy too. I hope you are. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining this Kitchen Cookups, these inspirations, the Keep Cooking Dailies. Get involved, as you know. Um, and if you are going to cook this one, let us know about it. Send us your pictures. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. And have a fantastic day. I'll see you very soon.